Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at perimeter. So this is a topic that I think most people um, sort of take for granted and they think, oh, I know how to do that, it's not a problem, and yet make some real uh, silly mistakes. So we'll have a little chat about that and a good way to lay out your work and uh, hopefully you won't get these questions wrong in the future. So what does perimeter actually mean? Well, perimeter is the length around the outside of a shape. So quite simply, I would add two centimeters with four centimeters and three centimeters, which is what you should always write down. So two, and you can cross them off as you go so you know you've done it. Add four, add three, like so. So always show you're working. And of course, two add four is six, add three is nine. So the mistake that people might make is to forget the units or get the units wrong. Because it is a length, it stays as centimetres. It's not the area, so it's not centimetres squared, and it's not the volume, so it's not centimetres cubed. It's just a length, so it stays as centimetres. That's the first thing that people sometimes forget to do. In this next example, what people will do is they will go, OK, there's three. They will add 5, and they will say the answer is 8. But the perimeter is all the way around the shape. So in this particular case, what you must do is fill in the missing sides. So because it's a rectangle, this is 3, which means this is 3 centimetres, and that's 5, which means that is 5 centimetres as well. So make sure you fill in all the missing sides. So when you go around the shape, adding up all the sides, you don't miss any. Okay, so 3 at 5 is 8, and 3 is 11, and then at 5 is 16, and again, length centimetres. Okay, so just make sure you do fill in any missing gaps. This one here is just an extreme case, just to show you that no matter what the shape is, uh, you just go around the outside, adding all the lengths. So I'm going to start off with 2. Notice how I'm crossing these off as I go, so I make sure I don't miss any. and also showing your work, just in case you do make a calculation error. If this was a two mark question, you can get the mark from showing you're working and telling the examiner you know what you do, you've just made a bit of an error in the calculate, uh, calculation. So two out of 10 is 12, add seven, 19, add five, 24, 25, 26, 30, and then 33 centimeters for the perimeter. Okay, so cross off as you go, you shouldn't miss any out or duplicate any. Uh, this one here is the circle. Uh, this is also in the uh, area and circumference of circles videos. Uh, I think Mr. McElroy did that one. And the perimeter is again just the length around the outside but obviously with a circle it's got a slightly different name we call it the circumference. So there's two formulas that you can use. One is if you have the diameter which is just pi times the diameter that will tell you the circumference. However, if you have the radius, which is this one here, so this is the diameter going all the way across, this is the radius. If you have the radius, you do two times the radius, because if you double the radius, you get the diameter, and then you times that by pi. So in both cases, pi times 10, because 10 is the diameter. In terms of pi, that would just be 10 pi. Obviously, if you have a calculator, you can work that out. And again, in this case here, 2 times the radius. Well, if the, if the diameter is 10, the radius must be 5 centimetres. So 2 times 5 times pi, which again, of course, gives you 10 pi. Same answer, it's just depending on if they give you the radius or the diameter. OK, and just to re reiterate that point, it's the circumference, which is the same as the perimeter around the circle. OK, I've got two more for you to have a look at. which are here. So the first one hasn't got any lengths on it, but it tells you that one square on the sheet of paper here is equal to one centimeter squared. So just like with the area, you could go and count the squares, but obviously we are doing the perimeter. Now the perimeter just means that if this is a one centimeter square, that one side is just one centimeter. 
And although people will look at this and go, oh, that's really easy, and yes, it is, but people make lots of mistakes because they don't do it in a systematic way. So this is the best way to do it to make sure that you get all the marks and you don't make any silly mistakes. So what I'm going to do is, is I've got four squares here. I'm going to cross off as I go and count as I go. So one, two, three, four. So I've done those and I know exactly where I am. Then going around the shape, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. By doing it this way, if you lose count, you haven't actually don't have to start again, you don't waste time in that respect. You know you're going to get every single one because you're going round and marking it off and it is the best way to avoid any silly mistakes. And I can guarantee people won't do this in the exam because they think, oh, it's oh, a massive waste of time, I can do it. And nine times out of ten, yep, you might be right, you probably can do it. But in that odd chance that you do mess it up, and lose a mark, it is a waste of a mark. And you'll kick yourself if you don't get the grade above because you've missed it by one mark and that was the mark that you missed. So by going around all the shape, crossing off as you go, you can see that the perimeter here is 40 centimeters. Okay, so take the time and make sure you get that right. This is a slightly different question. This time you have lengths. And again, start wherever you like. I'll start with four. And we just go around the shape. So four, 10, 12, and three. And again, this is where people will go wrong. They will just leave it as this, and they will forget about these two sides. But you mustn't do that. You must work them out. And to do that, we look at the total, well the total height of the whole shape is 10 centimetres and this is 3. So to work out this, we do the 10, which is the total, take away the bit we do know, 10 take away 3 is 7. So this length here is 7 centimetres, exactly the same thing for this one here. The whole length, or the whole base if you like, is 12. This bit here is 4, so 12 take away 4 is eight centimeters so you must work out the missing lengths and then as you continue to go around the shape don't forget to add and that was seven add cross that one off add them up like so and if you add these all up you come to 44 centimeters just double check that three add seven is ten that's 34 yeah 44 centimeters okay so a couple of things to watch out for Find out the missing lengths if there's lengths missing. Make sure you show your units and show your work. And if you do that, you should get these questions right every single time. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.